welcome, 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 welcome to this match. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to be playing against toys. Baby Zombie is going to be in the top. Ancient God. Rose. I like the name Rose for Ezreal. I wonder if it's like he rose from a grave or is he just like the plant with the thorns. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's see if I can slap this guy. That's good. You know, usually... You know, it doesn't even matter. Um, I've, I've been recently thinking that the minions are the thing that requires the most focus. Because if you look at the, you know, the numbers, this is nothing. It's 13. And if you ever lose a minion because you were trying to save your first strike or something, damn. You are... Okay. You are losing. And just now, I lost the minion because I... I'm used to having a little bit more AD, you know? Just a little bit more. And since I bought the Corrupting Potion, I lost it. So it's 21. 21 gold lost? And that's... You know, it might not seem a lot, but if you're trying to, you know, figure out which is the best starting item, and then you take this guy, and you lose a minion, it's almost over for it, you know, for the Corrupting Potion, isn't it? I don't know. Okay. Those are just my thoughts on the early items. I heard that they're buffing them. In the next patches. Not gonna jump there. I know that he does... Um, you know, I know what he does. I know he has those... Uh, okay. Can I, by the way, go back and just get the... Something? And by something I mean, I hope that he doesn't uh, freeze, but he will. We'll see if that even works out for him. We'll see if that even works out for him. What is he doing? This is a, you know, I want to laugh, but it's just, he just failed. That's it. He just did a fail there. Okay. Ah. Okay, something's happening. Okay. Okay, you know, I, I think it's safe to say that he is having some trouble. I, I don't know how he can come back in, in this lane, because he doesn't have TP, he's about to lose some stuff. Let's see if I can make him lose as much as I can, right? Well, obviously not losing myself. I was reading, I was listening, to be fair. I was listening to patch notes. YouTube's patch notes. Why are they so strong together here? Damn. I used my ghost. Wasn't... Maybe it was worth it, actually. So yeah, I was listening to patch notes for YouTube monetization policy and they nerfed Nikocado Avocado, if you can believe it. Because they made it so that you can't monetize binge eating videos. So I never thought that I will see the day where Nikocado Avocado is nerfed, but they did nerf him. And they buffed some conversations about sensitive topics. So that you can monetize them if if they if the uh, if the video doesn't include graphic stuff or something. So that's interesting, you know. It's interesting to see that they are targeting that, and it was it actually makes sense because you know if you look at those videos, it is a little, a little bit unsettling to watch them, right? As a creator, he's very original, I, I must say, but it's kind of unsettling, unsettling, yeah. Kind of a little bit unsettling. Now, by the way, uh, Kennen is a top G because he gave me uh, mid. He gave me mid. Oh, 
Let me do the double jump real quick. Okay. And let me just join the dragon fight. Because that's what we do here. That is what we do here. Sometimes we push, sometimes we go to dragons. Sometimes we, you know... I don't even know. I don't even know. What I do know is that Yorick is supposed to farm and farm towers. But sometimes you have these little windows where, you know, he's at the tower, not sure what you can do. You, maybe you can try to, um, you know, force him into losing health or something. But sometimes it's just too dangerous and then you can just walk around. Damn, this guy is... Now, because of the swap, there's a problem. I'm not sure how is he losing against that, but, you know, I'll take it. I have to be careful, because the flying Spartan might, might do just that. He might fly. And if he comes together with uh, Jungler... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Jungler is coming. Am I going to get these... Yes. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Predict trick. I have been tricked before. A lot. So. So don't try those tricks on me. They work only when... Well, actually, they work 80% of the times. Because <laughs> 80% of the times I'm not paying attention. What are those guys doing? Okay. Now, there was an interesting question by my all-time Top G fan. Because, as you might remember, he has watched all the videos. A big meet Pete. And he asked if I enjoy making them mad. And that's a good question. I must say that... You know, in Diablo 2, when you go to Loot Galane... Um, I don't remember which character said this, but one character said that when you click on them, you know, the default NPC phrase was always, they say the taste of vengeance is bittersweet. Oh, it actually was when you did some, you, you killed the first boss in the first, like, you, you, you did the first quest. Okay, it doesn't matter. Most of you don't probably know it, so why am I spending so much time explaining that? Um, and she says, they say the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, right? And um, oh, I have to be very careful because I don't know. I have to, I have to be still extremely careful now. Can we get this? Yeah. Okay. Cannon is mad. Okay. I don't know. I don't have mana. He's trying. Maybe I'll get the mana. And to try to answer the question finally... Let me try again. You know, she says this, they say the taste of vengeance, bittersweet, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of stuck into my mind for some reason, that phrase. And in this question, I can maybe say that it is sweet to have like kind of a vengeance when, when they are mad. It's kind of, it's kind of you are, um, uh, there is kind of like a sweetness there. That's one thing, you know. But it's only up to a point, because if I see a person who's mad and I, I can kind of, from the um, typing, tell that they are really suffering, and even though they're, you know, spitting um, these um, ad hominems and stuff, even if they're doing that, sometimes you can tell that they are really suffering. And that's when I, I sometimes feel like, ah, this is not that funny anymore, you know? It's just not that funny. So yeah, most of the time, 
I like it because most of the time the people are acting horribly, so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a revenge, you know, feeling. And it's actually not bittersweet, it's it's actually sweet, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Cause it's not really funny when someone's mad and um they are just mad, you know, without uh saying bad stuff to you, you know, when they are just in, in the chat. Um, it's definitely, let me try the third time to answer this. It's definitely less funny when they are not flaming, you know, because when there's flame and madness and you're winning, that's funny. That's funny. Let's do it. Can he... Oh, yes he can. Easy. Easy. It actually was that easy. He's right. And you know what else is not funny? Let me answer for the fourth time. It's not funny when you are losing and he's being mad. Because there's, n you know, he's just flaming you. It That's just, you know, it's not that funny. So I don't enjoy that. The, the only time when there's like real enjoyment is when, when, when the person is flaming and they're kind of having the, experiencing the revenge moment of the flame. When you are, uh, you know, winning against them. For example, they're flaming your champion choice or something like that. That's when it's funny. So there are degrees of those, and to answer this for the fifth time, maybe? Most of the time I do enjoy that, yeah. But up to a point where I can feel that the person is suffering, you know? And I guess you could make the argument that they're always suffering, but um, I don't know. Is that really true? Because sometimes you can be mad and feel good, you know? Let me press all those buttons there. I'm gonna come here again so that he. Oh! Is he really dead? Is he really dead? He, oh, <laughs> it's it's funny that Viego um, clicked the um, question mark ping there. <laughs> it now I wasn't laughing because of the um, the madness. I was laughing because that was a. It was funny how that. Uh, oh damn! I released Maiden, and she's immediately dead. What am I doing even, right? What am I even doing? Well, I, I couldn't. I couldn't know that that's gonna happen, right? Actually, I could've. So, wasted release. Maybe she froze a little bit for cannon? So it wasn't completely wasted? Let's see. Now this is dangerous because all of these guys are here. Oh, there he is. Please stun him. Oh, how so fast? How so fast? Okay. Graves flashed. Very good. I'm feeling a little bit sad about the upcoming patch changes where they are gonna nerf platings, they are gonna nerf. Uh, um, what else? They're gonna buff the items that I don't ever get, which is the Doran's. Blade, um, and uh, what else is there? And and you know they're gonna remove mythical items, but that's in the future. You know I don't know if that's really such a bad thing. It might not be that bad. Why am I TPing here? Why am I TPing here, my friends? Why am I doing that? Maybe we get three towers, you know, because of that. OK. 
Okay. Let's see. I, we might get three. Yeah. We might get three. The big three. Don't worry. I will. I see it. You know, I'm not that stupid. I'm not that stupid. Easy. He easy come, I easy go. What was I even saying before? I don't remember. Let's get some... Uh, does he see that? He probably sees that, right? Damn, this cannon tilted. Maybe not, but... You know, it just feels like he dies in situations where, come on, man, didn't need to die. Is Graves going to be here? I don't know. Let's go for the ultimate slap. Slap festival. You know what's the slap festival? It's when you have this, this, and this. That's when the slap festival uh, commences. He used his thing, so I might... Oh, he also has the other thing. If we get him, then we have the dragon. Slapped. That's funny. It was a kind of like a quick slap there. Kind of like a quick slap. So to answer your question for the seventh time or sixth. I do like when they are mad and I, I do enjoy when they are kind of um, articulate, you know. No, sometimes... Sometimes when they're not articulate, when they say something like idiots and it's a it's a Batmanas Darius who died solo and he you know he's lying there and they're uh, they, he says idiots but before he typed before that he had typed um, stuff that's kind of a bad in bad English so okay Yeah, we, we, we get them. I think we get them. Oh, my mouse. What's going on? I know this is not a good example, but if you watch that Batmanas game, I'm pretty sure he had typed in not a perfect English. So that's when it was funny. But sometimes when the person uh, is very articulate, they're very eager, kind of like a high ego person who, who knows how to type, you know, they know stuff. Uh, they their English is pretty good, and then they they try their best to hurt you with the words, and you kind of don't care because you're winning. So that's when it's funny. That's when it, that that's when it's extra funny. Yeah, that's my uh, seventh answer. I think that's why the Solar and Ecton hate um, clips are so funny because he's actually pretty um, witty. In his his responses to the to the uh, people um, there, and I think what makes it extra funny is that those are he is probably um, yeah pretty bad damn I TP'd and I even had to try my best to get out of that TP damn. And it, it, it makes it... So he's he's like the oldest of the all the people involved. And he's making these witty responses. And he's losing the game. And the fact that he's losing the game... It just gives all the energy to that, you know? It, it gives all the energy to the... Oh, this is the first time I collected this? Damn. Uh, all the energy to the humor, you know? So yeah, um, that's a, that's that's my dive, my little dive into the um, ideas of 
why madness is funny. Okay. This Nasus is being a raid boss for a long has has been a raid boss for a long time here. But I must not forget my duty, my stoic duty of taking out the last three towers, which are not the Nexus towers. I wonder if this Tristana is gonna stay. If she's gonna stay, I'm I'm using my buttons and I'm jumping on her. If she's not staying, then I go push. Oh there it is, she is staying. Let me just push those buttons real quick. Okay. She was trying to do the thing again. Where she just stands and you die. But the slap was just... I think she blew me away. And I slapped her. And that's... um. I don't know. You, you have to agree that that's pretty funny, right? Now, since I know that I'm probably not going to be able to take this, because those guys are going to respawn, you know, everything's going to... All kinds of things are going to happen. I'm probably just going to go to the Baron pit and just start the Baron. I don't know, maybe it's... Those guys are low or something? Do they have problems or what? Does he have TP? I don't know. All kinds of questions here. I think we have a lot of firepower together so we can maybe take this out pretty quickly. And we have a lot of vision of a possible graves coming there, so yeah, there it is. I slap this. Ah. Wanted to slap that guy real quick. I wonder if I'm gonna catch someone coming to help the Tristana. No. I don't know what she's doing. Almost. Because I was ready to do the double jump. Is he gonna try that again? There it is. Let me do the double jump real quick. Does he die from it? No. That's too bad. Oh! <laughs> That's pretty good. He even flashed, right? If we can believe the uh, Senna. He even flashed. That's funny. That's funny. Let me just go back, get the big, big four. Item number big four. And uh, maybe we can win because I don't like this. But I think we are strong enough to do it. Because sometimes, you know, when we... People just start pushing at this stage and there's just a bad engage or something and we all die and then the game is back online for them, you know? So I don't particularly like that, you know? Can I get some ghouls here? Yes, I can. I need to tap the Velkos again. There it is. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Why did he write the question mark there? Was that because of Velkos' health? Because I think that kind of maybe even deserves the question mark. Kind of even maybe deserves the question mark, yeah. Damn, I always get hit by this. For some reason, my brain, over the years that this guy's been in the game, my brain still does not understand the the way it moves. And there she is, okay. Pantheon died for, you know, I don't know how, but I guess I killed them. So yeah, thanks for watching this. Kind of an easy game. And I will see you in the next one.